Welcome to the Buford Arts Council. It's an honor to be here today to talk about one of my favorite places, and that's the Buford Arts Council. Um, the Buford Arts Council started in 1991, and it's been almost three decades in bringing us wonderful and innovative art exhibits, installation, and music um, from all across the county. Uh, the Buford Arts Council has been integral in, in connecting our community and bringing the community together, and we've been doing this for a long time. Um, it's probably one of the most diverse arts organizations in Buford County, north of the Broad River. We've brought together artists from all over, and we have done some pretty cool projects here. Um, one of the things that uh, we've done is the Community Mural Project, which is on the uh, TCL campus here. And this particular mural has really brought together artists from all over, from all various ethnic backgrounds, to tell the story of our community. And you have to come through and take a look at that. It's an amazing, it's an amazing mural. One of the other things that we're proud of sponsoring is the Mather Museum. And the Mather Museum here is on the TCL campus in the original Mather building the library that was built for the school. And a little bit about that school. The school was built during the Reconstruction era for women. And these are the children and some former enslaved um, peoples who attended the school. The um, unique part about it, it was a women, it was all, all female, a women's school. And it was more than just a trade school because they taught women things like um, etiquette, and art and the other trades that was needed to uh, function in society as young ladies. It was a normal school, so being, which meant that, that they taught, they became teachers. And it was also started by missionary Rachel, Rachel Crane. So it's an amazing building. And talking about the Mather Museum, we're actually in the building now doing this particular video. And this particular building was the called the juke joint. It was the area in which the students came down to relax and listen to music and have fun. The other great thing about the Mather School, it was all inclusive. They did everything here. They grew their own food. They made their own clothing. Um, they were totally self independent. So when you get an opportunity to come through and take a look at the museum, you'll see some amazing photographs directly from the period. One of the other things that the Buford Arts Council is proud of sponsoring is um, some amazing exhibits here. And one of the exhibits I wanted to mention is the Black Madonna. The Black Madonna was an exhibit that brought artists from all over the country um, to, to be expressive in telling their story of these amazing archetypes, powerful women through history. Um, this was in conjunction with the Cross-Cultural Folk Heritage Association. So we have done some amazing, um, and we have done some amazing collaborations here, and we continue to work towards growing this into the future. We've been doing this, as I may have mentioned, for three decades, and we hope to continue into the 21st century. We, we wanna thank the Technical College of the Low Country for partnering with the Buford Arts Council and giving us this amazing space on this beautiful river. And right now, I just want to uh, do a call to the community to continue this, these great works that we've done. We're gonna need your help. Uh, we need volunteers, we need sponsors. Um, check out our website, look at and see what you can do as we continue to try to do things to enrich the community and enrich the artists in our community. So I want to thank you for allowing me to talk to you for a few minutes about the Buford Arts Council, and we hope to see you here soon. Thank you.